where apps like GoodNotes and Notability emphasize and mostly stick to the idea of handwritten notes, there is one that tries to marry the concept of handwriting and text together. I'm Jean with Paperlike and today I'm introducing you to Nebo. Named one of the best note-taking apps in 2021 by Forbes, Nebo is mostly known for its incredible handwriting recognition. But the great app needs more than one great feature to be successful. So let's take a look at what Nebo has to offer. One of the greatest things about Nebo is that it is cross-platform compatible. It's available on your iPad, on your Mac, on Windows and Android devices. And that with only minor differences between platforms. Having said that, Nebo was originally built for the iPad. Testing it for free is only available on Apple's ecosystem. If you're running on Android or Windows, your only option is to purchase the full app at a one-time cost of $11.99 and $9.99 respectively. Keep in mind that if you want to use Nebo on different platforms, you'll need to buy the app on each of these platforms. As for syncing, you can obviously sync it with iCloud if you're using your Mac or your iPad, but you can easily sync everything on Dropbox, for example, if you're using it on Windows or Android. Nebo doesn't have any templates available, but you can choose between two different types of pages. Document pages look like a line sheet of paper and function as your main note-taking space. Line spacing and font size are adjustable, so is the background color as well. In a document, you can mix and match text and handwriting, even in the same sentence, which is really cool. These pages also allow you to add different sections, such as images or sketch areas, for example. As for note pages, well, these are basically infinite canvas that adjust to whatever you're doing on them. You can draw, you can write, you can doodle, you can basically explore your ideas freely, which makes it a great option for your brainstorming sessions. It's great to note that there are absolutely no constraints on placements and positioning, and here as well you can change the background color or the patterns to fit your needs. Nebo does not automatically convert your handwriting into text in note pages, but you can still apply text conversion by selecting your handwritten notes with your lasso tool and tap on convert. Nebo's toolkit is full of the usual suspects, but it comes also with some nice little extras. Its text mode should feel very familiar to you. It uses the same text creation tools you'll find anywhere on your iPad, so you don't have to actually get used to anything new. You can add and edit existing text, including handwritten notes. Just press and hold to select the text and make your modifications. Nebo also allows you to click on any text to move or resize the content, which comes in handy if you want to add an image, for example, or just if you want to fit more content in your page. A pen tool is available, obviously. Until summer of 2022, Nebo included a felt pen only, but since then, brush and fountain pens have been added, and I have to admit that writing with your Apple Pencil in Nebo feels incredibly smooth, making for a great experience, especially if you have a paper-like screen protector. I'll add a link in the description. The pen tool offers six different thicknesses and a color wheel for flexibility. Note that the app lets you test out your choice in a customization window before using it in your notes, so you know exactly what to expect. And hey, this feature is unique to Nebo. Just like the pen tool, the highlighter comes with six different thicknesses and has the same color presets and the test window as well. On the document page, Nebo's highlighter only functions to highlight, which is expected, I guess. But one of the neat things about the tool is that it automatically snaps to a straight line behind a text. So far, Nebo is the first and only app to implement something like this, so props to them. When you're using a note page, the highlighter gives you two options. The freehand highlighter converts to a marker, allowing you to write, draw, or color as needed, and you can even layer your strokes. The smart highlighter, on the other hand, acts just like the highlighter on the document page. Like for the previous tools, you'll have six different thicknesses for the eraser. The stroke eraser allows you to erase on a per letter basis. This is where Nebo's eraser really shines because it's really, really precise. 
size, but if you'd rather erase by pixel, the precise eraser allows you to do so. By choosing it, it will function just like a regular eraser. As for the lasso tool, it's especially useful if you're using it in the node pages. When you're in a node or in a sketch section, the lasso tool allows you to move your drawings or text anywhere on the page. You can also resize your selection or convert handwriting to text. On a document page, the lasso tool can select your text. Doing so, it will bring up the Apple's text ribbon, which offers the same options that you'd see if you were to press and hold the text. It's kind of redundant and arguably it's useless. Apart from the classical tools, Nebo comes with some pretty cool extra features. It can notably solve math equations, it hosts a dictionary, allows you to create lists and diagrams, and as we've mentioned before, you can freely sketch on the note pages. Nebo's handwriting recognition is insanely accurate. It perfectly picks up cursive and even my super sloppy handwriting. One of the coolest features of the app is that while you're handwriting, Nebo has a conversion preview in the upper left corner showing how it's interpreting your text as you write it. If for some reason it doesn't pick up the text as it should, you can correct it before it converts it. The app also allows you to mix and match handwriting and text, even in the same sentence, which is great. But now to the best part. Nebo uses simple interactions and gestures to format your text. Look at this. You can emphasize a word and convert it to bold by underlining it once. You can even create a list by drawing bullets, numbers, or other supported list types. Isn't that really great? And Note that some other gestures allow you to edit and correct some mistakes you make. You have the classical scratch out to erase function. You can actually separate letters by drawing a line straight down between them. And you can connect letters by drawing a straight line upwards between them. I'm sorry if you feel I was kind of overexcited about this topic, but I love my shortcuts, okay? Nebo's three-level doc management might not be enough for some note-takers. And the setup is a little different from other note-taking apps out there. Instead of folders to keep your notes divided, you'll find collections, notebooks, and pages. Collections allow you to collect all your notebooks into one category. From there, you'll create specific notebooks with pages inside, and pages are pretty similar to what you'd find in Apple Notes. The search function on the app can scan PDF annotations, handwritten notes, as well as your diagrams, for example. It does a pretty good job in finding anything you need very quickly. As for moving around your pages and notebooks, you can do so by simply dragging and dropping them to whatever you want. Final point in this section, Nebo allows you to import PDFs as well as PowerPoints and Word documents. Note that Word documents and PowerPoints will be converted into PDFs during the import. This means that you won't be able to edit the original content, but you will be able to freely annotate whatever you want on them. Nebo is cross-platform compatible. We've said it before, but this makes it so much more crucial for you to be able to save and sync your notes. Fortunately, you can easily sync your notes to iCloud, Google Drive, or Dropbox, for example. And with a free MyScript account, you'll be able to find your notes easily on any device. Now, when it comes to exporting and sharing, Nebo gives you a few options. You can export your notebook as a Word document, a PDF, or as a Nebo file, which will allow you to share it with other Nebo users. Math equations can be exported as images, and your diagrams will stay editable when imported into your Keynote or PowerPoint. Last but not least, you can create a link and make your note visible online. Okay, so what do I think of Nebo? Nebo offers a great compromise between Apple Notes and apps like GoodNotes or Notability, so it's definitely worth a try. The ability to test it for free is pretty great, and even a full price is pretty affordable. Now, it is not as feature-rich as the most popular apps out there. It lacks some customization and organizational features, but the advanced handwriting capabilities might be just enough for you to overlook that. In fact, Nebo's handwriting and text conversion are by far the best you can find, and the software integrates handwriting and text perfectly together. So my advice here is if you have an iPad, 
download the free version, try it out for a few weeks, and then tell us how it went. But if Nebo doesn't feel like the right fit for you, feel free to watch our latest video on the best note-taking apps out there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.